today we're going to talk about reproductive isolations. What is reproductive isolation? Reproductive isolation is a property that inhibits two species from mating. The species may be separated before mating in prezygotic isolations or may occur after fertilization in postzygotic isolation. There are different types of prezygotic isolations. There's habitat isolation, temporal isolation, behavioral isolation, gametic isolation, mecha and mechanical is isolation. In postzygotic isolation, there's hybrid sterility, hybrid inviability, and hybrid breakdown. Habitat isolation. Habitat isolation is when new species cannot be formed due to environmental borders, which physically isolates them, meaning that they cannot meet and mate. Example of this would be lions, as they are found in Africa and tigers are found in India. So in nature, they would not be able to mate. Temporal isolation. Temporal isolation is when different species mate at different times of the year and thus restricts their mating opportunities with different species. An example of this includes the spring and fall field crickets where the spring field cricket mates in spring and the fall field mates in fall. This inhibits them from mating together. Behavioral isolation. This is when species do not recognize other species as potential mates due to the different mating behaviors. Example, songbirds react to different songs specific to their own species and will not recognize other songs. Gametic isolation. Gametic isolation is when the female does not recognize the male sperm or the male sperm is unable to survive in the female. An example includes a male donkey and female dog would be unable to mate since their game mates are different. Mechanical isolation. This is when mating cannot happen because their physical features are incompatible. Example, polar bears are not able to mate with fishes due to their clear physical differences. Postzygotic isolations. One, hybrid sterility. Hybrid sterility is when the different species are able to reprodu reproduce, but here the offspring is sterile and is not able to reproduce to continue the species. An example is a donkey, which is produced from a horse and a mule, but it is mostly sterile. Hybrid inviability is when the offspring of the two different species is not able to grow up into a healthy adult, meaning that they usually die young before reaching the age of reproduction. An example of this would be ligers, which is a hybrid between a lion and a tiger. Most ligers are unable to grow into healthy adults. Hybrid breakdown. Hybrid breakdown is when the offspring of two different species does reproduce, but their offspring is too weak to reproduce and often ends up dying before reproductive maturity. An example includes in cultivated rice, hybrids are fertile, but the hybrid's offspring is sterile. Speciation. Speciation is the formation of new species. There are three types of speciations, allopatric speciation, sympatric speciation, and adaptive radiation. Allopatric speciation. This is when a species is separated by a physical barrier and becomes two separate species due to different environments. Example, if beetles are separated by a lake, then due to different resources, they become different species. Sympatric speciation. Unlike allopatric speciation, there is no geographical border in the way. Instead, the thing that creates new species is due to polymorphism and polyploidy. Polymorphism is when new species form due to different niches, and polyploidy is when new species containing diploid chromosomes separating itself from haploid species. Adaptive radiation. Adaptive radiation is when new species form from an ancestral species, usually due to different niches. This is common on islands where species must adapt to different roles. Examples include the Australian marsupials. Thanks for watching!